Hi everyone, this is Mani and welcome back to SK SecOps. So today let's understand about what is ingress in Kubernetes. So let's get started. Let's understand what ingress is trying to solve in Kubernetes and then later we can understand the definition which will be easier. So let's first understand the flow. We have a user where he wants to access services from the internet of a website. So for example, accessing e-commerce website through domain. So I am taking e-commerce example.com as a reference. So whenever the user sends the request to this domain, so the traffic will be reached to the load balancer first, which is the entry point for the Kubernetes cluster. Now the load balancer will forward the request to ingress ingress is like a smart router let's see how actually it routes the traffic let us consider we have three services one is login service product detail service and payment service so how can we connect to these services yes we will be connecting to these services using some routing endpoints or the paths so to connect to login service we use slash api slash login and this is appended to the domain that we have taken and to connect to product detail service we use slash api slash product to connect to the payment service we use slash api slash payment so the these are the paths are the rules that we will be configuring within in the ingress so whenever the user request, he will be getting the response from the respective service backend based on the ingress. Now let us understand the definition of a Kubernetes ingress. Ingress is a Kubernetes object that defines rules to route external traffic to target services inside the cluster based on the URL paths or multiple domain names. Let me use one of the blackboard in order to explain Kubernetes manifest file. And also I want to walk through some key highlights within this ingress manifest. If you observe the kind ingress defines this is an ingress resource, then followed by host, which is e-commerce example.com. This is the domain name for routing. Then we have path slash API slash login for login service which is running on the port 8080 then again we have another path which is slash api slash product for product service running on port 8081 and then we have slash api slash payment for payment service running on port 8082 and again each path maps to a service which forwards to the correct pod now that we understand what an ingress does let's talk about ingress controller so ingress controller is the component that actually reads the rules defined in our ingress manifest and routes the incoming traffic to correct services inside the cluster it's not installed by default and must be manually set up the common types of ingress controller includes engine Linux. AWS Elastic Load Balancer and Azure Application Gateway. That's all about Ingress and Ingress Controller. That's all for this video and thanks for watching. If you really like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel for further notification. Thank you.